Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Amazon favorites video. These are some of my absolute favorites to watch right now, so I thought, why not join in on the fun? So today, I'm gonna be showing you kind of my must-haves as of right now, so early 2020, things that I can't live without on Amazon. I'm gonna have every single thing linked in the description box down below so you can find it easily. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right into this, but first I wanted to say here in the beginning, if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the family. You don't wanna miss out on the fun here. So make sure you click the button down below and click the bell for notifications, and let's get into the favorites. One of the things that I'm absolutely loving right now is this Redken pH Bonder, and I get so many questions on the products that I use on my hair and how I keep my blonde hair healthy. I have had blonde hair for a minute now. If you've ever bleached your hair, you know how important it is to take care of it and use the right products. And I have found this super helpful in keeping my blonde hair healthy. It's a really similar product to the, um, Oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Why do I keep wanting to say Oribe? I know that's not it. That's other hair products. What the crap? I have to look this up now. Olaplex. Okay, there we go. Had to think of it. Very similar product to Olaplex, but a lot more friendly on your bank account. So I get this on Amazon. This is basically just a once a week treatment. I don't even necessarily use it that often. I just use it when I start to feel my hair getting a little bit brittle or dry, or like after I've washed it, it's like tangled and harder to come out. That just tells me that my hair needs a little extra moisture and love. So I will throw some of this in on my next hair wash. Basically what you do, you apply it on wet towel dried hair. You can leave it on for 10 minutes or more. I usually try to do like 30 if I have the time. If not, 10 works just fine, but I do notice that it's a little bit extra softer and silkier if I can leave it on longer. So you do it before your shampoo, then you get in the shower, shampoo it out, and your hair feels amazing afterwards. So I highly recommend this to anybody who has color treated hair that's a little bit damaged. If you bleach it, if you use kind of funky colors on it, just really anybody if you're wanting your hair to be a little bit healthier. All right, the next thing is a skincare product. This is just pure hyaluronic acid. It basically is just a moisturizer for your skin or I guess it's not a moisturizer, technically it's a hydrator. It's by the brand Cosmetica. It has tons and tons and tons of raving reviews on Amazon. I'm really trying to take my skincare seriously this year, so I've got a really good lineup. You guys did say in my last video you'd be interested in seeing a um, skincare video, so I'll definitely do that soon. But basically what this is, it just hydrates your skin before you moisturize. The order I kinda like to go in is I wash my face, and then if I'm going to do any type of exfoliating, I'll do some exfoliating. I'll usually use like a glycolic serum on my skin first. That way the active ingredients can work to exfoliate my skin. And then after that, I go in with this type of product or just more serums or moisture or whatever. But this is my second bottle. I really like it. It lasts a very, very long time. And I've been using this for at least three or four years now. So I highly recommend that if you're looking for a good way to moisturize your skin or just add some more hydration. While we're on the topic of skin stuff, I'm gonna throw this in here. I don't have it because it's wet in my shower right now and I don't wanna bring it in here dripping wet. I'll put a picture of it up here though. It is a mitt exfoliator. You guys, if you don't already use one of these, it will change your life absolutely change your life. You basically just put it on like a self tanning mat and you rub it all over your skin and you will see the dead skin literally like ball up and roll off. It is so amazing. Total game changer, especially if you are somebody like me who likes to self tan. Embarrassingly enough, I really needed to exfoliate my tan off today. That's why I'm wearing this big sweatshirt to try and cover up the horrible mark of self tan. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. Look at that. So gross. I need to exfoliate it off but I just couldn't be bothered today. I had too much going on, I just didn't have time, but it seriously is a game changer. It preps your skin for self tan, so amazing. And it also just kind of preps your skin for moisturizer. So even if you're not a self tanner, um, it is very, very good to constantly be exfoliating your skin. It just kind of helps, you know, the new fresh skin come to the top and look nice and not be all dry and crusty. All right, we're gonna switch gears a little bit here. I've got some straws, some different straw options for you. So, okay. I think I've mentioned this before in passing, but I have a very weird thing about metal. I get physically sick and gaggy when I hear metal scraping on metal. I don't know what it is. It's kind of this ongoing joke in my family. If anyone's like sharpening a knife on one of those dreadful things, they'll just yell out, Kate, close your ears. And I just literally sit there like this until they're done sharpening their knives. Cause 
I don't know, there's something about it. Or like people doing the fork thing on their teeth, that bothers me too. It's just something about metal that I don't like. So anyway, long story short, I can't do metal straws. It freaks me out. I don't like metal anywhere near my teeth. I was looking for some alternatives. I found these in really, really cute colors. I don't have them all here because some of them are dirty. But we've got really cute little silicone straws are so much better. I know they have glass straws. Glass doesn't bother me. However, I don't trust myself with glass. So anyway, they come in really fun colors. They also have like a white one, but again, some of mine are dirty. So they're just fun little silicone straws. So I love this. These are a really good option. It comes with a straw cleaner. These are very, very inexpensive and they're tall enough to fit in like one of those big tall yeti things i really really like those but another alternative if you are looking for just like a disposable straw for a birthday party and you don't like the paper straws and you don't want to do the plastic straws i found these i was looking for straw alternatives like several months ago and i found these and i just find these to be one of the best disposable alternatives to plastic straws. It's called Plasticless and basically it is just a compostable straw and it is made out of cornstarch. So the way I understand it is that this will biodegrade the same way like a corn cob would or something like that. They stay really, really sturdy in your drinks. I've literally been using this one all morning in my coffee. I've gotten two coffees today and it doesn't get like nasty and soggy like the paper straws do or other straw alternatives. I just, I really can't say enough good things about it. The texture of these straws is so freaking similar to plastic. Like I, if you didn't tell me this was not a plastic straw, I wouldn't know. When you order it, it comes with this cute little turtle saying thank you. So Anyway, this is like seriously, if you buy plastic straws, just stop it. Just buy these. It's not that big of a deal. They taste, taste, they feel exactly the same in your mouth. You would never know the difference and it's a really small way that you can just do better. Okay, segueing into coffee, I suppose, because why not? Um, this is not what I'm about to tell you because I'm out of it right now and I am pissed, but I love this one specific coffee that I found on Amazon. I haven't been able to find it many other places. But let me just tell you the story. Okay, so every time I go to Vegas, the coffee at the buffets or just like when you're playing in the casino and they bring you in the morning, the coffee is phenomenal. Like the best coffee that has ever graced my taste buds, okay? So I went to Vegas last year and I actually like didn't post about it. I didn't do anything. I was just like radio silent, enjoying my trip with Brock, kind of enjoying it. I ended up with like a double ear infection. It was the worst thing ever, flying with an ear infection, but that's a story for another day. We were trying to enjoy ourselves, but anyway, this coffee, I was like obsessed with it. I had to go and find it every single morning without fail because it was just the best coffee I've ever had, hands down. I was like probably annoying the crap out of Brock. I was like, I have to find out what type of coffee this is. I have to be able to buy it and drink it at home because it's just so amazing. I talked to some lady at the buffet and she allowed me to take a picture of the coffee so that I could go hunt it down and find it for myself. And lo and behold, glorious Amazon had options. So it's the West Rock Coffee Company. All of their coffees are really, really good. However, this one blend or roast or whatever it is, I don't even know, I gotta find it though. That's what it looks like. It is the East African blend. It is so good. I'm serious, it will change your life. I like it hot, I've made it as a cold brew before. It is just the best coffee ever. Like I can't say enough good things about it. If you're a coffee drinker, get this, you will love it. If you've ever been to Vegas and you've wanted to know what the coffee is, you're welcome. We get off my soapbox now. While we're still talking about coffee, get a Nespresso. Oh my God, it will change your life, okay? I know it's expensive, however, if you're somebody like me who goes to Starbucks all the freaking time, way more than anyone has business going to Starbucks, you will save so much money, okay? So the initial investment, you know, it's up there. It's in the hundred, couple hundred dollar range. Um, I have the Nespresso Pixie. I have an older model, so the price on what I have has actually come down. It's really not that bad. It used to be $230. It's $187 right now. That's the one I have. It is so amazing. It makes the best espresso. I get the little Nespresso uh, capsules as well. I buy the name brand. I've tried some other ones on Amazon that were absolute garbage. I am a little bit of a coffee snob, just being honest. The Nespresso brand capsules are, are just like by far the best. Seriously, this will change your life. It's so good. 
just trust me on this one. Ask for it for your birthday. Save it and keep it in mind for Christmas. Whatever you want to do. Or just treat yourself because you deserve it. All right, the next obsession of mine we're going to talk about is plants. You guys know I love my house plants. I have way too many. That's okay. I love these macrame holders for plants. I don't know who lived in this house before me, but they might have been more obsessed with plants than me because in every corner by the window, there's a plant hook. So like I had all of these plant hooks that I'm like, da, 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 I'm going to put in the house. No, it came fully loaded. Like I was just ready to hang plants. I love these little macrame holders. I love the kind of boho vibes. And if you get like a really pretty philodendron that like just spills out like this one, it is just heavenly and beautiful i can't wait till this gets even longer and it just like drapes down to the floor and looks majestic af also i love the way it adds height to the decor because a lot of times you've got stuff sitting on shelves or you've got pictures on the walls but to have something coming down from the ceiling just adds such a cozy element that i am just in love and obsessed so if you've been looking for a macrame plant hanger don't go to like a plant store and spend a whole bunch of money on one i've seen these like 40 50 60 plus dollars this one on amazon i don't remember exactly how much it was but i want to say it was like 20 or below that i spent for it so if you've been looking for one look no further this is the one you need all right we're kind of bouncing all over the place here i've got some beauty favorites some decor favorites some like kitchen favorites so we're gonna bounce back into beauty for a minute you guys know i love doing my own gel nails and i bought my little lamp curing thing on amazon i've had this since like Maybe 2014-ish? No, no, no. When did I buy this? Maybe 2015, but regardless. I've had it a really long time and it still works great. It is not the most beautiful thing in the world and it is very dirty, but she is very loved. I love doing my own gel nails. It saves me so much money. It is so easy to do. And the great thing too is like gel, it lasts a really long time, obviously. Daisy, ma'am. She's like scratching on her collar. I love that if you get a chip or something, you can just fix it real quick. You don't have to go back to a nail salon or anything like that. It just makes it really convenient and easy. But I think for me, like the biggest thing is just the money saving part because I can buy this, I can buy a handful of nail polishes, top coat, um, base coat, all the stuff that I need for a small investment, but over a handful of months, you're gonna save yourself some money. So highly recommend. It's really no more difficult than just painting your nails. I do have a really old tutorial on how I do my gel nails. And although my nails, I would like to think, look a little bit better now than they did before. They were so short and squatty before, and I didn't really know how to shape them very well. Uh, but I do have an old video on how to do gel nails, and I still do them the exact same way, but, um, her nails have leveled up and we've had a little bit of a nail glow up here. Obviously I am not a nail tech or anything like that. However, these are just products that I have found to work really good for me. There's also a really good pH bonder by Gelish. I'll try to see if I can find the little kit that I bought because it had the top coat, the base coat, the pH bonder and a nail oil or a cuticle oil. So it came in a little set and I've had them for years and they still work amazing. I'm still probably have like half the bottle or something like that. So they last a very long time. I'll make sure to not only have the little lamp linked down below, but I'll also link some of my favorite gel polishes too. The other thing I've been loving for years and feel super confident recommending to you guys is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. This stuff is so quick and easy. It is so amazing. You can buy it in these huge bottles on Amazon and this will last you like at least a year. Kind of depends on how heavy of a makeup user you are. Like for somebody like me who's constantly going through brushes and colors and new products and stuff like that. Uh, it definitely will go a little bit quicker, but for an average user, this could easily last a year or longer. I wanna give you guys like a little demo here because it's a game changer. It's so good for spot cleaning your brushes. Obviously you wanna go through and like deep clean them every once in a while too, like with, you know, soap and water and stuff like that. But um, if you really, you have like a favorite brush, but she's dirty. I basically just put a little bit of this solution in the cap like lightly the lightest little burp. that probably was even too much and then on like a little towel or something like you can see there's all one like a whole bunch of color on there you just swirl it around this stuff dries in like seconds and you have a perfectly clean makeup brush so again 
total game changer, especially if you're a makeup junkie like me. This stuff is so amazing. I use this all the time when I'm doing my Halloween tutorials because I go through brushes like crazy. It can get body paint out. It can get all kinds of gunk out. I don't know the magic. I don't know how it works but it is really, really good stuff. Something that I want you guys to all read is the book, You Are a Badass. This has been around and like hyped up for a while now and I have read it probably three times. <laughs> I have it on Audible and I also have a hard copy. It is such a good self-help book. If you like self-help books, I'm sure you have heard of this before, but if you have been late to the game, not reading it for whatever reason, I highly recommend it. It is a good read. It's a fun read. She keeps it like upbeat and I love listening to it on Audible as well. This is not sponsored. I just have Audible. I love it and I use it all the time because I'm a busy mama and sitting down and reading a book isn't always feasible for me, so I do like to listen every once in a while. But again, not sponsored, just a happy customer, but I really think that everybody should read You Are a Badass because it is such a good book. It will get you hyped up for this year. It will get you so excited to crush your goals and it will just open your mind to a better way of thinking and a better outlook on life. So I just can't recommend it enough. It is so good. It has changed my life and changed my outlook on so many things and I just can't recommend it enough. It is just so, so good. So the next thing you might want while you're reading a book or listening to a book is a super oversized bean bag. I don't currently have one of these. We were hoping to buy another one when we got into a house, but when we lived at the townhouse, we had two of them. I had the big six footer and then I had a five foot one and you guys, I took many naps in that thing and I had to end up throwing them away because Daisy was a puppy when we had them and when we got them, she peed on them. I don't even know how you clean a bean bag because it just goes through, you know what I mean? So I didn't really feel like it was salvageable, but before the incident, it was so amazing, like so comfortable. I really can't wait until we get another one, but we have the one that was kind of like the faux fur outer thing. I can't speak to the suede ones. I think the fur would probably be more comfortable and maybe be a little bit like cuter aesthetically, but we had really great luck with ours until doggo ruined them, but they were so comfortable. I loved them. I loved cozying up with a book and just reading or editing on my laptop. Thinking about it right now, I just miss it, but it was so cozy. so amazing and also really great for extra seating. Like if you have family that comes over a lot or friends that come over a lot and you have a smaller couch, that's originally why we got ours. We had a pretty small couch at the time and we were just wanting extra seating. On the six foot one, you could easily fit two or three people and on the five foot one, you can comfortably fit two people. They're just like huge, amazing. They suck you in, they're like memory foam. Like it is the 2020 version of our old 90s bean bags. So if you're looking for extra seating in your home or something cozy, highly recommend. All right, bouncing back to kitchen stuff. If you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you're not, you should. I have been posting a lot of food stuff and recipes and things like that on my story. And I was showing you guys my cast iron grill pan not that long ago. And a lot of you guys wanted the link for it. So I thought I would definitely mention it in this video. I got it on Amazon. I want to say it's like that log cabin brand or something like that. It is a really, really good pan. And I love it so much because it allows you to grill inside like in the winter when you're just like craving a grilled chicken or a grilled fish or whatever you eat. It's a really good way to get some nice char marks on your meat or veggies. It's also great for grilling up veggies. I love cooking with cast iron. It's probably my favorite thing because it's just so easy to use. Um, I know a lot of people think it's hard to clean or it's hard to keep up with or whatever, but truly it is a really, really easy way of cooking and you just can get the most amazing like crust. I hate that word because it kind of sounds bad on meat, but like, you know what I mean, where it's just kind of got that nice little crunch to it. So I love my cast iron, but I especially love my cast iron grill pan. It's very, very affordable. You can get these like in stores too, but it is, I think a little bit cheaper on Amazon. So I'll definitely drop the link down below for that one. And then the final thing is, we were talking about cozy bean bags for us. I've got a cozy little thing for your doggos too. I mentioned this a while ago on Instagram stories too, and a lot of you guys were curious about it, but it is the donut cuddler for dogs. Both of mine love it. I got it before we had Stormy, and so I got the smaller size. She tries to fit her big butt in it, and she succeeds occasionally. It is just this super cute, big, fluffy, cozy, I wish they had them for humans, <laughs> dog bed. I'll insert a picture right here because I don't have it up here with me to show you guys, but 
Both of the girls love it. I do want to get a bigger one for Stormy because she loves the little one. She's always trying to fit into it and I feel so bad for her. Not only are they cozy for the doggos, but they're actually pretty cute to have rather than just kind of like a plain dog bed. So if your dogs actually will use a dog bed, I highly recommend this one because it's a really good one. Okay, and that's it for my current Amazon favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite Amazon products are right now. I have been loving watching these videos. I have like a cart full of things after watching some of these videos that I definitely want to get whenever I make my next order. That's it for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!